Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make delicious frijoles de la olla in an instant pot. In case you guys want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe we're going to need one pound of beans, a half of a small white onion chopped, one handful of cilantro, two garlic cloves, two bay leaves, fresh thyme, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of black pepper, and two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by cleaning out our beans. So you want to remove any broken bean or if there's any rocks, remove them. All right, so once we clean our beans, now we're going to give them a quick rinse. Now you also can soak your beans for up to an hour or overnight. Um, for me, honestly, I don't see the difference, so I'm just going to give them a good rinse. All right, so after we rinse our beans, now we're ready to throw them in our instant pot. Okay. All right, so we're going to add eight cups of water. We're going to add our chicken bouillon, cumin, and black pepper. Make sure you mix it. Okay, so now we're going to add our thyme, our cilantro, garlic cloves, two bay leaves, and onion. All right, so we're going to close it. Make sure that it's on ceiling. And we're going to cook our beans for 40 minutes. All right, guys, so after 40 minutes, we're going to let our beans sit for 20 minutes. All right, guys, so after 20 minutes, we're going to remove any leftover steam. So carefully push it forward. All right, guys, so once all of the steam has left our Instapot, now we are ready to open it. And let me tell you that it smells delicious. I know it's just beans, but it smells so good. Look at this. Okay, so now we're just going to remove our garlic cloves, our cilantro, along with the thyme. We just remove everything, the bay leaves. Your beans are so soft, look at that. And now we're ready to serve them or fry them or cook them however uh, you like them. Just remove the garlic clove. But I'm going to serve them how my grandma used to serve it for us. I guess of course, if you're going to serve them just like that, um, you want to try it for salt and see if you need any. For me, adding the chicken bouillon is good enough. I don't need to add any salt. Uh, so now we're ready to serve. And like I said, the beans, you can fry them so many ways. It all depends on what flavor you're going for. But this alone, super delicious. All right, guys, so like I said, I'm going to make them or prepare my beans how my grandma used to prepare for us. Um, so I'm just going to squeeze, oops, I'm going to squeeze out some lime juice. And then you can serve it with your tortillas recién hechas. I'm going to add a chile de árbol, just the seeds. Just mix it all. I'm going to add some queso fresco. Some oregano. Cause let me tell you the oregano and the beans oh my goodness so good some fresh cilantro and fresh onion and just like that grab your tortillas recién hechas and enjoy Alrighty, guys and now for the best part the taste test and now you guys let me tell you that ever since you know i discovered the instant pot and i learned how to use it i've been making my beans like this um you know before 
it used to take like two hours on the stove top and you have to watch them and keep an eye on them make sure that they have water and you know all of that so this the instant pot is seriously the best um, there's no turning back and like I said the beans you can make in so many ways you know from just frying them on their own with cheese just how I like them or you know making them um, uh, frijoles puercos any you know you could just do it so many different ways that it just depends on you but now we're ready so just mix it all together and it just brings back memories when I was a little girl you know in Mexico my grandma used to make us uh, a bowl of frijoles de la olla uh, just so many memories but it's still hot so cheers and enjoy Mm -hmm. everything is so perfect these are seriously the best beans ever um you know this is how i've been making my beans if you watch my old video on the stove top uh, same recipe if you try them give this one a try you're going to love them Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make delicious frijoles de la olla in an instant pot. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family, and if you create this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.